downtown Cleveland, MLB The Show has baseball from Progressive Field. Today, it's the home opener for this new season between the Chicago White Sox and the Cleveland Indians. We've got baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. And that'll bring up the shortstop, Tim Anderson. He will lead this one off today. First pitch of the A.B. now. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Right fielder is on the run, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. So bases are empty with one out now, and that'll bring up the former top prospect as a minor leaguer, Yoan Moncada. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. The temperature here at first pitch, a very seasonal 63 degrees this afternoon. Two balls and no strikes, the count to Yoan Moncada. Now the 2 0 home. Fouled off. Bases are empty, one man out. And he misses again, ball three. Elo Jimenez waits on deck. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Now into the box, Elo Jimenez. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. And the pitch. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. No, Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. And here's a ball hit in the air. And that will end up a foul ball. Here now the 2 2. Just underway here in Cleveland. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's 3 and 2 now. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3 2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Count remains full. I know the fans love the souvenirs, but the battle between the pitcher and batter right here is what makes the game great. And he'll get to see another one. It'll be the 10th pitch of this at bat. Two out, nobody on. And he struck him out. A 10 pitch battle, but he finally wears him down as the inning is over. So now into the box is Cesar Hernandez. He'll lead things off here, here in the go. bottom half the of the Indians. first. The second baseman, Cesar. The pitch. Hernandez. And that's inside for a ball, 1-0. Oh. Here's a little chopper up the middle. He's got it. And that's the first oh. out. Digging in will be Jose Ramirez. The third baseman. Jose Ramirez. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Hit hard back up the middle. And quickly there are two away. Digging in next. Eddie Rosario. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Hit in the air to straightaway center. 
And he will reach up to make the catch. Oh, what a play that time as that ball had extra bases written all over it. But with that catch, the inning is over. Second inning set to go. And digging in is the switch hitting catcher, Yosmani Grandal. A bouncer to the left side. And that finds its way through for a base hit. So here's Jose Abreu as he'll watch one miss down and in for a ball, one and oh. Grandal on at first, nobody out. And he fouls this one off. The one one home. Hard hit toward the hole. And that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm, a base hit. Batting fit. The, the next batter will be Luis Robert. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And a relay to the plate. Tag is there, and he's out trying to score from first as the second run. Into the box, Clint Frazier. And that's taken in straightaway right. Will he try from second? And he'll go ahead and take third on the fly ball to right. So he's 90 feet away now with two men gone. The second baseman. And stepping in, Ruth Nidodor, runner in scoring position with two gone. As he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0 and 1. Hey, when you're featuring a mid-90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off-speed pitches later in the game. The 1-1. One, one. A ball and two strikes now. White Sox are out to an early 1-0 lead as we play the second. And it's fouled away. Ready with the one two high fly ball out to straightaway center waiting on it is Zimmer and he makes the play to end the inning. Last half of the second set to go and next the dangerous power threat Fran Moreas the designated hitter rugby and now oh, yeah. pitch on the way. Hit down the line at first. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. Reyes brings a ton of pop to the plate with him, particularly against right-handed pitching. Some guys don't drive the ball as well when facing a pitcher who throws from the same side that they swing the bat, but that's certainly not the case here. Yeah, this guy just absolutely hammers right-handed pitching. You know, that some guys good. like the ball in the coming towards them, and that's exactly Bobby. what the righty-on-righty -righty matchup Bobby. presents itself. A two seamer in, a four seamer that leaks out over the plate, a hanging breaking ball. This guy seems to absolutely hammer those. Here's the 0 1. This one is fouled away up to the concourse area. I know that's the spot he didn't want to miss in, but he got away with it. Another one sent foul. Nobody out, runner on first. hit pretty well out toward right center field right fielder looking up at the track the wall and goodbye this one ain't coming back that is good the now white brings up Josh Naylor pulled toward right center field Robert is to his left as he puts it away in the alley for the first out of the inning. Next to stand in is, is Andres Jimenez. A short stop. First pitch of the A.B. now. 
The swing and lift a ball fouled off to the left and out of play. Another one fouled off and he's quickly behind 0 2. Indian shortstop behind one and two in the count. Still only one out in the inning. Did well just to make contact there as he spoils off a good changeup. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. That's popped up. Moncada is there. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. So the bases are empty with two gone now. And up next, the San Diego area native Bradley Zimmer. Now the pitch. Hit back up the middle. Anderson scoops it up. And the off balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit, and the side is retired. The third set to get underway, and up next, one of the best the defensive point. center fielders in the, the league, right Adam Engel. Adam. First pitch Engel. on the way. Now a slider well off the plate, an easy take there. One ball and two strikes to count. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. And the next to bat will be Tim Anderson. 0 for 1 here in the early going. And a fastball's in there for strike one. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Naylor is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. Oh, so here's Yuan Moncada. Hit it hard but lined out in his Yuan. first at bat. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last AB. He hit that ball on the screws. The 1-0. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Again another foul ball. Oh the old classic two strike. Let's throw the fastball right down the middle. Not in this game. Got to believe you got to work the corners a little bit more. Fastball command is paramount at this level. And the throw to first will indeed get him. It's a strikeout score at two to three, and the inning is over. Bottom of the third now, and that'll bring in the veteran catcher, Roberto Perez. The catcher, Roberto. First pitch right. coming, here it is. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. And no one will get this one. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Down the first baseline. But well, that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. Still no balls and two strikes. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. Hot shot on the ground is short. Anderson picks it up. Throw on to first in time one away. So the Indians lineup flips over and to the plate Cesar Hernandez. He bounced out last time up. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. A two to one score here as we play inning number three. A 
Oh, and he had him guessing there, and it's a ball and a strike. Oh, that grounder caught him. Thankfully, he's able to recover, and he gets the second out at first. Cody Hoyer comes in New unexpectedly from the pen in now relief of his injured teammate. Side. Number 12. So Cody. now here is Jose Cody. Ramirez. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The bat. The third baseman. Jose Ramirez. And now the first pitch. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. Count now a ball and a strike. Lifted down the line in left. And foul. Bases are empty here with two men out. And it's to two and two now with the bases empty and two gone here in the inning. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off speed pitch in the dirt. Full count now. Now the payoff pitch home. Fouled away. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first Number man he faces. Number eight. So the next to bat will be Eddie Rosario. And we'll see if they can make him pay for the two out walk. Always considered a big no no, of course. Ramirez, the runner at first with two gone. Fouled off. Stays alive, still 0-2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Strike three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulders. Side retired. All set for the start of the fourth. And digging in Leading is the, the outfielder, Eloy Jimenez. The Eloy Jimenez. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. That's popped up. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. A swinging strike and now it's 0 and 2. Pops this one up. Bradley waits on it. He's got it one away. So one down, no one aboard. And up next, the switch hitting catcher, Yasmani Grandal. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Not surprisingly, here, this is on the ground to the right side. And that gets through for a one out base hit. Up next to the right side. The first base. So here's the slugging base first baseman, Jose oh, Abreu, now. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. A ball and a strike now to Jose Abreu. Great pitch in that situation. If he makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. One and two. Fourth inning of a two to one ball game. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone.
And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. And the payoff pitch. Into center field, line drive base hit. Now that the center field, Luis. The batter Robert. will be Luis Robert as the first pitch misses to him. It's ball one. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. And this winds up inside for a ball. Two and oh now. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Three and zero to him now. And that's in there. Three and one. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. Back up the middle, scooped up to second for one. Relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth and striding go. forward the designated hitter, Fran Lorraine. Here's the first hey, pitch. Yeah. It swung on and hit in the air toward the line in right. And he reaches up to track this one down for the first out, and he had to go a long way to get to that ball. Ready to take his axe again. Bobby Bradley blasted a two run homer in his last at bat. Yeah, Matt, that last AB was a changeup that was way up in the zone, and that ball got smoked. Listen, if you're going to throw that changeup, you have to try to keep that thing at the knees or below. He can ill afford to throw waist high to belt high changeups. Popped him up. Moncada is over to take a look, and no one can get there. It's a foul ball. Fly ball to straightaway left. On the run is Jimenez, but he's not going to get there, and he's headed for extra bases again. Now batting, right fielder, Josh Naylor. In now, Josh Naylor. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. Flew out in his only at bat so far. Oh, one pitch. Now that's popped up. Moncada is over and he tucks it away for the second out. Andres Jimenez, the next to bat, oh, comes next into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Andres. He had a first pitch on its way. Hit hard up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. And they're not going to get him. He's in there at the plate. Down that. The center fielder, Bradley. And that'll bring in the San Diego product, Bradley Zimmer. So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Right fielder coming on. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Riding forward now is the D.H. Clint Frazier. Leading He'll off the start off the fifth in this one. Wheels and Clint. deals. Here's the first Frazier. pitch. As he'll cut on and miss it. A good slider at the knees for strike one. And a check swing. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. It's ball one. Here's the one and one pitch.
And the leadoff man gone now to start the fifth. No one no, on with one down. And that'll bring up the second Rube baseman, Rubnit Odor. Oh, and won the count. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. One and one the count now. The pitch. The one two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. Three to one our score as we play inning number five. A full count for Odor. Three balls and two strikes. Adam Engel waits on deck. Had to wait back on the changeup, and he did a good job just to make contact. Hit hard down the left field line. But this is going to land foul, so they'll tee it up again. Three and two. Another full count pitch home. There's ball four. Ready now for the White Sox. Adam Engel looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. From the stretch. Now a swing and a deep drive to left. And it ain't coming back. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. To the plate now, Tim Anderson. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Waiting on it is Zimmer. And he makes the catch for the second out. Next to bat will be the Cuban import, Yon Moncada. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Fielded cleanly, and he is out on the tag. Striding in for the Indians, Roberto Perez go. rounded out Indians. in his last at bat. The catcher, Roberto. First pitch on its way. Swing and a miss for strike one. Get it ready, big boy. This guy's throwing three digits right here. The best way I can help the fans is 90 to 92, you can usually see seams. 92 to 95, it starts to really quicken up on you. Over three digits, you're seeing a white blur. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first down. Now, now back to the top of the lineup, baseman. stepping in, Cesar Hernandez. He's Her rolled Hernandez. into ground outs a couple of times already here in the ballgame. Nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. This is on the ground over to first. And that is through into right field for a single. Now batting third baseman. Okay. Standing Ramirez. in now, Jose Ramirez. Batting left-handed here as he takes a look at strike one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. 
A oh, double play ball to second. Four. One there. On to first. Not in time as he just hits the bag ahead of the throw. Ready now is Eddie Rosario. He was sent packing on strikes in his last trip. Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. Hey, that was a nasty pitch right there. Ton of rotation on that ball. You could almost see the red dot from up here. Nasty depth. Little pitch and catch chance for Odor at second base, and that'll do it. Stepping up is Elo Jimenez. He's set to lead us Leading off in the, the sixth. Inning. The left fielder, Aloy. On its way is pitch number 75. And he fouls this one off. The 0 and 1 delivery. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. That's how you open up the outside part of the plate. Pound two balls in and they get right back outside. Nice pitch. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. And gone. An absolute bomb. Nick Wickren takes over on the mound here with nobody out in the sixth inning. Your attention, please. Now pitching for Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. And it's fouled Nick. away. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. 0 and 1 count and the pitch. Behind 0 and 2 now. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. One out for Chicago now here in the sixth. And one of the more prolific okay. RBI men in the league okay. the last few years, Jose Abreu, will bat next. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. Fastball. Whoa, look out. That just about got him in the coconut. Not sure if that was a purpose pitch or not, but I liked it. As a pitcher, sometimes you've got to be willing to back the guy off a plate by running something hard inside. You can't just let guys be comfortable standing in the batter's box against you. The 2 1 pitch. This is lifted into the air out towards center field. Waiting on it is Zimmer. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Next up, Luis Robert. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. Robert. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. And you look at a fastball that doesn't miss by a whole lot. It's 1 0. Oh. Hey, they say solos won't kill us, but I got to believe this guy's looking to do exactly that. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Zimmer able to track it down for the third out. And that'll bring in Fran Moraes. Leading up for the Indians, the designated hitter, Ranbir Reyes. Matt Foster please. enters to do the pitching now, in the bottom of the sixth. Number 63, Matt Foster. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. High in the air out to center field. Robert is there and he has it for the first out. Now to bat, Bobby Bradley. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park just like he did back in the second. 
Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. A bouncer to the left side. Throw on the first will get him. Score at 5 3 on the putout, though it looked more like a 6 to 3 ground ball. Now Nevertheless, right there. there are two away now. So stepping in is Josh Naylor. He's set and the pitch. Fouled away. 4 3 our score here as we play inning number six. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. Pulled toward right center field. Odor is calling for it and that retires the side. So to the plate is the White Sox DH. Clint Frazier. Off he comes White in Sox. 0 for 2 he thus far. Clint. Clint. Maybe getting a little jumpy in the box, so he steps out and asks for time. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Ramirez is there. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Into the box, Rugnet Odor. Rugnet Odor. He's set. Here it comes. Swing and a miss, 0 and 1. Hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. High in the air out to center field. Waiting on it is Zimmer. Two gone. So two away here is the Sox bat in the seventh. And up next, one of the best defensive center fielders in the league, Adam Engel. First delivery to him. You know, because this is just a one-run game, this doesn't strike me as a situation where he's going to be working around a guy. I think he's going to challenge him right here. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Rosario is there, and it's a very Let's quick go. inning as the Let's side go. is retired. The traditional Jonathan Express. Last half of the seventh here, and that'll bring Andres Jimenez into bat. No, you're only that's down one stuff. right here, but oh, the great. exploding stuff that's coming out of the back end of a lot of teams' bullpens. I mean, just north of 95 plus stuff diving all over the plate. It's gotten a lot tougher to scratch across runs against these teams' bullpens. And he falls behind 0 and 2. Rounded back up the middle. Anderson brings it in. Throw on to first, and one shortstop grounds out to the other, one away. One out now for the Indians in their seventh. And up next, the San Diego area native, Bradley Zimmer. And now the first pitch. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. Here's a weekly hit fly ball off to the left side. Anderson backs up and takes care of it. Two away. So next to hit is Roberto Perez. It's been an over two effort for him to this point. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. Well, he kind of tipped his hand right there. His approach is obviously sitting on the off speed because he was so late on that first pitch heater. Lifted in the air out to center field. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Ready to begin the eighth. And up next, it'll be Meeting Tim Anderson. The shortstop. Tim. Anderson. First pitch of the AB on its way. Aye. 
Not much you're going to do with that pitch right there. You have to catch it out front before it even breaks, and even if you do that, it's a tough pitch to keep fair. A bouncer up the middle. A dive, but he can't get a glove on it. It's through for a base hit. Now that third baseman. Yohan. Stepping in now, Yohan Moncada, as he'll swing and miss at a first pitch slider at strike one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Ah, he comes up empty that time as he's underneath it, 0 and 2. Yeah, he just wasn't on time right there. Front foot not down in time. Nothing happens before the front foot can get down. Chop back to the mound. Can they turn it? Hernandez at second. On to first, the double play. Base is empty oh, now after the double play. Oh, and next to bat will be the outfielder, Eloy mm -hmm. Jimenez. Yeah, he absolutely torched the fastball his last time up. Pretty much a no doubter, so he's got to be feeling pretty confident right here. A one pitch on its way. Behind 0 2 now. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Well, that's a smart miss there. Sometimes guys will chase it down there, especially when they're in protect mode on an 0 2 count. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Still 2 and 2. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there, a little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. Ready with another 2 2. Hit high and deep to right center. Right fielder is on the run. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Cesar Hernandez has got a hit in three at bats to this point. First pitch of the AB on its way. Swing and a high chopper over to the right side. Reined in. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. In now for Cleveland. Jose Ramirez. Over oh, for two for him okay. to this point. Ramirez. Here's the first pitch to him. Not close with the off speed pitch taken for a ball. Fouled off. Four three our score here as we play the eighth. And he fouls this one off. The one two. And it's fouled away. Got to believe that was a mislocation because it missed right down the middle. This guy's going to have nightmares at the plate thinking about missing that one. Neither guy giving in here, and they'll do it again. Here he comes again, one, two. Back-to-back -back sliders in on the hands. He didn't handle it real well at all in the previous pitch, so why not come right back with it again? Better job of laying off that one, though. They haven't played perfectly as it's hit on the ground, fielded by a door, and there's out number two. Next, it'll be Eddie Rosario. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Now the pitch. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. Three runs, five hits. No errors to this point for the Indians. Hit hard, but foul. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0-2. High fly ball out to straightaway center. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. And now here's the cleanup hitter for the White Sox. Here's Monty Grandal. He's two for three and looking for more here.
wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Big swing by Grandall and a ball carrying well to right. And that ball will stay fair and it's gone. A home run. Now bad. So now to the plate, Jose Abreu fouled away. Comes set and the 0-1. High in the air out to center field. Waiting on it is Zimmer. One out. Striding in is Luis Robert. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Here it comes. Scooped up. Throw gets him. Two down. But the plate now is the designated hitter, Clint Frazier. He grounded out last time up. Miguel Sano will come on as a pinch hitter. Pinch hitting for the White Sox. Number 22, Miguel. Here's the first pitch. Two out, nobody on. Mm, chased out of the zone there, and he's down two strikes. I know that feeling. Played 14 years in the big leagues and still can't hit a slider. And he struck him out. So a good pitch there. And now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at bat if they want to get back in this thing. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And digging in is the big time power threat, Fred Reyes. Liam Hendricks takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Now pitching for Chicago. Number 31, Liam. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. The O2 pitch. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Next up is Bobby Bradley. He's two for three with a home run and a double. First pitch on its way. Way behind that pitch, it's 0 and 1. Hey, from a pitcher's standpoint, sometimes the greatest pitch is the slider that backs up. He got away with that one, but he wants that thing to bury down the way. Behind 0 and 2 now. One out, nobody on. Now he goes the other way, and he got a lot of it high and deep to left center field. Gone! Now back, right fielder. Josh. And Blake now, Josh Naylor, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. As we near the end of this one, it's clear the long ball has played a big role in today's outcome. Dan Dero, what are your final thoughts on what we've seen? Yeah, just non competitive pitches in some big situations, Dan, and the offense took full advantage. Yeah, you know, Dero, one of the things about pitching is you want to have location, and it was obvious in this one today that the pitchers weren't on point, and what happens when that happens? Hitters make you pay, and the long ball was a big part of this one here. Now that the shortstop, Andre Jimenez. Into the box, Andre Jimenez, as he chops it foul at the plate for the first strike. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. As a look, now the pitch. Big fastball is definitely this guy's M.O. coming out of the bullpen. 0-2 delivery. Swung on but fouled off to the left. Put that in a memory bank. First time he breaks out a curveball right there and it's a pretty good one. The 0-2 once more. Breaking ball called third strike as that catches the zone for route number two. 
Next to hit, Bradley Zimmer. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. First pitch on the way as he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. Hey, this offense has this closer in trouble right here. They have to find a way to keep applying pressure. I don't know. Everybody top step in the dugout. Get on this guy and make him nervous. On the ground to the left side. And that gets through, so he'll have his first base hit, make him one for four in the game now. Now batting, catcher, Roberto Vera. Harold Ramirez will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Now a swing and a fly ball. And this should do it. Engel is there to make the catch. And with that, the ball game is over. Wow, that's eight wins in a row. And it seems like they can't do anything wrong. When you're riding a streak like this, you eat the same food, you drive the ballpark the same way, you do everything the same because you don't want to do anything to jeopardize this streak. A one run finish today, five to four, the final score. The Chicago White Sox wrote an important sixth inning to.